kids and youth at Grace. My name is Jin. I'm a children's pastor here. As you can see, um, our worship service looks a little bit different from last week. I hope you are all doing well and staying healthy while we work through this virus. Remember that you are never alone because God is always with you, especially during difficult times. Today, we will continue to learn more about the Easter story by opening up one of our Easter eggs. This is Praying Hands. Praying Hands remind us of Jesus visiting the Garden of Gethsemane to pray. Jesus gave us a wonderful example of how important it is to pray. He often went off by himself to pray to God, but this time, Jesus asked his disciples to come with him. Jesus knew that he was going to die on the cross for our sins, and Jesus was willing to do anything God wanted him to do. So he went to the garden and wanted the disciples to pray with him, but his disciples fell asleep not just once, but three times. Do you ever get tired when you try to pray? It's hard to be strong when you are tired, isn't it? Even Jesus' disciples were weak when they tried to be strong on their own, apart from God. This is a reminder to all of us that we cannot be strong on our own. We need to pray and ask God for strength, just like Jesus did. This time, Ms. Rowdy will pray for us. And now let us pray. Dear God, remind us that you are always with us. 
Give us strength to go through this time with your help. We ask for your blessings and your protection for each of us until we can be together again for worship and fellowship. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Psalm 95, a call to worship and obedience. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth. The heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and the dry land, which his hands have formed. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Do not harden your hearts as at Meribah, as on the day at Mansa in the wilderness, when the, your ancestors tested me and put me to the proof, to proof, though they had seen my work. For forty years I loathed that generation, and said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not regard my ways. Therefore, in my anger, I swore, they shall not enter my rest. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Christians are urged to refrain from 
business as usual in order to attend to the body, mind, soul, spirit, and heart. It is a time to set aside to connect our faith law with the ways that we live, move, and have our being be in daily life. But who would have thought that the whole country would be mandated to experience Selah? There is no business as usual right now. All our communal ways of life are now disrupted. Working from home or minimal work gatherings, no concerts, sports events, movies, no church, limited restaurant meals, thank goodness for DoorDash or Postmates. It is a break on behalf of the health of others and ourselves. A time of Selah. The book of Psalms provides myriad examples of how we bring our life worries, how we pause and remember God, and then offer our praise. Similarly, African American spirituals follow this pattern that begins with suffering and ends with positive, faith-filled notes of glory and thanksgiving. When the storms of life are raging. Stand by me. The Psalm read, Psalm 95, manages to incorporate both the call to joyous expression and praise and the call to return to right relationship with God. These are not mutually exclusive experiences of faith. Trouble, and yet dependence, lament and joy, praise, regret. Remember the famous troubling verse at the ascension of Christ that we see in our window every Sunday at Grace? The scripture says, when they saw him, they worshiped him as Jesus descends and ascends into heaven. It also says, but some doubted. Our struggles don't need to keep us from our joyous worship of God. Our journey inward can be a journey outward at the same time. It is inward to examine the state of our soul. In this time to ask God, why has this happened? Why are innocent people suffering? To deal with our anger at those persons who may have spread the disease, but frankly, no one knows that they had it, most likely. We beg God's mercy on us in our world, but outward we embrace the grace and mercy that is available from God at all times. We celebrate this call of joyous worship. Come and praise God. So even in our own homes, even in an empty sanctuary, even when we face difficulty, we offer our praise to God. Come, let us worship God. May the God of peace be with you in these times. Remember to pause, say and know that God is with us.